Hello, what's up guys? Um, welcome to the part 3 of this video. My name is Fred. Okay, so in the part 1 of the video, we drew the front elevation of this camera viewing from this um, um, the standing position where you have this arrow and A. And we drew the plan moving up and viewing from the top. Okay, and this is what we got. Now, we're going to draw the end elevation here now if you if you're new here you it, i think it is expedient you go see the part one of this lesson where we treated the front elevation the part two also where we treated a plan before you come to part three okay it will help you to connect and know what's about to go down all right let's start up Okay, so what I've always done is to show you an autographic, um, sorry, an AutoCAD um, view of this 3D object here. Now, the end elevation you'll be viewing from here. So when you view, what will you be seeing? Of course, you'll be seeing this edge, this lens hood here, and this cylindrical part here, okay? So, now remember, in examination, you won't be given any um, movable 3D object to view from, no. Now, it is, uh, you will... It is assumed that you already know how the shape looks like in, in your brain and uh, you're just going to have to figure it out. Now, the reason why I use AutoCAD 3D is because to enable, to enhance uh, a better understanding of the of the topic so that uh, by the time you are used to as many 3D objects on your own, even without um, using uh, any 3D application or software, you will be able to figure them out because you already have a, f um, a photographic mindset of objects. So that's the essence of explaining further with... Um, AutoCAD. So, here is the uh, AutoCAD if end elevation view in AutoCAD. All right. So, if I um, move this, definitely the end elevation we are viewing from this angle. So, you will be seeing something like this, approximately like this. You know, I'm moving manually. All right. So, this will be the shape of what you're going to see. Now, there will be no hidden details. Why? Because what you have on this side. Okay, you also have on the other side. So these lines are already what blocking the other or obstructing the other side. So there will be no hidden detail. The same thing here, whatever it is that is going on here is also taking place on the other side of the drawing. So this is just what you get. Now you might also want to take a screenshot of this so that in the process of drawing, you'll be able to relate and connect with whatever that is going on here. All right. Okay, so let's go back to the drawing. Okay, so now what you should do first is to transfer lines. Like I told you, all the edges, okay, of all any parts of the camera, okay, when you transfer them, all right, it will enable you to um, quickly project, um, be it the plan or the end elevation, okay? It, it will assist in what? Completing, uh, completing it uh, on time and also... Um, you avoid errors and mistakes, okay? Because in the process of drawing, once any of the parts are not matching or connecting, you know there's a mistake somewhere. So it actually helps with um, eradicating mistakes and um, also getting a perfect drawing at the end of the day. So what I'm going to do now, the essence of this 45, you already know, all right? So I'm going to transfer all edges. So this one is already drawn. It's already on the borderline, okay? So I will transfer this circle just like i transfer this one down i will transfer this circle to hit this 45 degree line transfer all the parts okay i also transfer every line from this part okay here i will transfer to this side so it will um help me to quickly project the end elevation with with zero or uh minimal error okay all right so let me do that real quick all right, so if you can see this clearly, you see that I've succeeded in moving lines from all the edges. For this knob, you can see this line, this line for the knob, for this edge here, lines. You can see a line from this edge, from this edge, and from this edge. So the same thing I did for the top, I moved lines from here, okay, from here. Okay, I didn't move one. Sorry about that. So this one here, I have to draw lines. That's the lens hood. okay all right so you can see lines so how i came about that was i just aligned my set square here okay with the horizontal supported my ruler then i started moving draw 
to the next one ensure your hands are stable with thin lines don't draw thick lines okay so you do the same thing transfer then the same thing i did for the bottom all right and i just transferred once again there is a part i didn't transfer here and that is this one okay so you see that's one of the uh, uh, essence one of the essence of transfer so that they will eat eradicate uh, errors mistakes and all of that so if something is missing as you're drawing it you know if something is missing because initially you didn't transfer the line okay so what i'm going to do is you see where these lines are hitting this 45 degrees i'm going to take each of these point of intersection up all right okay so i've done that already right i've drawn all the lines up what i simply did was to align my set square here with this vertical line and i transferred here this point here just like that and i drew them up okay okay so now from the autocad view all right you can go back if you took a screenshot and compare now when you're viewing from this end elevation you're going to see this part here all right distance what 25 but we don't need to measure anything anymore maybe just a few measurements because we, by virtue of transferring these lines the measurements has been transferred so all you have to do is to locate each now don't be confused by these lines okay just follow me very closely now don't forget this is the border line upon which you will draw the end elevation this is a border line okay and this is a border line so it's going to be here all right so now you see this distance all right definitely to be here down okay so now look at this edge this one this curved part this is the dimension here so you can see lines let me guide it using some drawing um, equipment here now this is it line here this one sorry this this is it here so they will move up both of them so focus on this line so that part we take this all right so this is it and this one as well all right so that's supposed to be 56 but we don't need to measure because we already transferred the distance so you draw this thick line okay so this is it here right that's um 25 okay so you can see we're not really doing any measurement right now why because the lines we transferred has already what okay now another thing is just in case you're not quite clear with what's going on here go see the um the view in autocad okay get the shape see how the shape um the end elevation looks like and compare with what's going on here all right but again i've already told you i've explained that um this part is what you're seeing here okay the edge of this camera i told you you're going to be seeing the edge of this camera you're going to see this little part here then the cylindrical part here and this um tapered lens hood okay will be coming out so this one this part here will be here somewhere here this top here will definitely be here then um this lens sorry this knob will be here you can see it then this cylindrical part will be somewhere here then this lens hood will come out do you understand so all we have to do is to trace and connect all the lines now look at this part this knob here which is this all right so if you trace this is the edge here trace this one here so when you trace it is on top so when you trace these two lines this is it here so you draw it it will correspond to this one so all you have to do is you don't need to measure anymore 
But if you are used to measurement, well, you can go ahead and do so, but it usually takes time. So you've got another part. Now, we want to draw this. So if you view from this edge, it, has, it will look like the line still continues because of this line at the back. Okay? So, we already know it is from here to the top. That is from down to the top. This point corresponds with this and this. So we'll draw this part, thick line. Right? Sorry about this little mistake here. Double lines. Okay? Then, um, uh, this is it here. Now let's get this part, this one. So when you trace, this is it. It should stop here. Okay, I'm talking about this top here now. Corresponding with this top. So you draw this part. Okay, then you know it is sloping down. If you look at it, it's sloping down to this edge here. That is here. All right, so if you trace this line, it is sloping down now. It is sloping down to this. Just like it's sloping down to this edge. This edge. So this edge has a line for it. And we trace this part here also. So that's it. So it will stop here. So we connect. Right? Then we draw this part. So that's it. Now next is this part you're seeing of the camera this one okay the distance is what seven from here that is from here to here seven all right so but we already have it here okay so all we need to do is to get this bottom part which is this remember this is it here and this is the bottom part. We've already, we've already transferred the line from the beginning. So you see the advantage of transferring lines. So this is it here. So we're going to draw it down. Don't miss the line. And connect. Alright. So we've got on this part. Now once again compare with the one... Uh, in the 3D projection, uh, projection in AutoCAD. So we're almost done. The next thing we're going to do now is this cylindrical part, okay? So where is it here and where is it here? Simple. Now you can see it here. From this edge, this line here, and this line here. That's it, okay? Then where is it here? This is the line from this end, one to this, two. Okay, so you trace. So that means going to be around here, all right? That's it, because this line ends here. Okay, and it continues to the top. So I'll extend this thin line upward to get the other point on top. All right, and the second one is this, and it will end here. So you can see it's making the job easy. Draw the... This part out, and um, we have this here. Good. We're almost done. Next is the lens hood. Where's the lens hood? This is the lens hood. The lens hood is also corresponding with this big, bigger circle here. All right, so we already transferred the lines out. So that's it there. And we transfer the line out. So that's it there. So this is the lens hood also. So it will intersect with this one. All right, so for this line, it is meeting at this point. Then for this one on top, I will have to extend it because it's not long enough. So let me extend the line. Good. Now for this one on top, the same line is meeting there. So I will connect here to this point and connect here to this point. And that will give me my lens hood. Good. Have you done this? This is your orthographic projection in first angle of a miniature camera. So this is it. 
Now, I know um, if you're a first timer, this you may find this a bit difficult to understand, but I already explained introduction to orthographic and I've attempted some other orthographic questions. Go see those videos, then come back here and carefully watch where you do not understand. Rewind, pause, you know, go through the whole process again. I promise you, you will definitely connect. So, what you do next is you dimension this whole drawing. You dimension. So, that's just what I'm going to do now. Okay, so what you do next, you dimension accordingly. And also remember, you do not repeat dimensions in in orthographic, all right? So this is it. This is how to draw um, a camera in orthographic projection. Thanks for watching. Um, I'd like you to um, recommend these lessons um, to someone whom you know or you think might be in need of this lesson so we can all benefit all right and also do not so, um, forget to subscribe to this channel um like these videos and also turn on your notification button as more videos interesting videos would be uploaded thank you for watching and do have a nice day